Dobra Veche, Divine Pisces, 222. Still feeling like crap. Woke up this morning, my eyes are all puffy. I was like, what the hell is this? Not good. Clear. But I put in a full day of work anyway. And I was like, I wasn't going to do a collective because I really don't feel good. But I can't not do a collective on 222. It's my number. It's my day. So yeah, it's Saturday, February 22nd, 2020. Let's do an energy check-in, do a quick one, and then legit, I'm going to take a shower, and I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to sleep this off, whatever it is. It le sucks. Alright. <laughs> That's not, it's not funny. Um, yeah. Not gonna lie, guys, this, this, uh, the energy coming in from this Pisces moon is kicking my ass. Okay. I feel like it's kicking the ass of the collective right now, too. There's a lot of shadow stuff coming up right now, you know? New moon. So it's like the dark side of Pisces, which... <laughs> Being a Pisces, I can say this. I know everybody says, oh, Scorpio, you know, Scorpio is the darkest sign. They're so dark. They're so dark. I don't know. Have you ever met a Pisces and their distorted energy? I have. And they're absolutely terrifying. They're duplicitous. They're manipulative. They're sadistic. Very much so. So, a lot of these energies coming through here with this moon. Okay, still a very strong longing energy here. I'm getting a, still a dark night of the soul energy kind of coming in here and... You know, a lot of you are still dealing with third party situations. Some of you may be married to your person or whatever. And there's just a lot of despair, a lot of depression, a lot of grief in, in these situations. I am feeling just like, I feel like a lot of you have really just given up on these karmic situations, especially like really just given up, like energetically just said, screw this, I'm out. Just kind of waiting for the opportunity to leave. Right? Um, and that could, of course, be a job. could be a family situation. could be a marriage. Whatever. Okay? But I feel like a lot of you in the collective are just... And, and it could be your person. It could be your person. You could be contemplating releasing that. Okay? But I feel like a lot of you are just so done. And I know I'm in the same energy, so um, I'm right there with you guys, you know? And I know it's un unexpected income. However, this is kind of telling me it's more like luck, more like a realization, more like a, oh my gosh, you know, I had this the entire time. Like a realization that, oh, I probably need to do something or I'm going to lose this, whatever it is, okay? And... Maybe it is a job opportunity, okay? Maybe it does have something to do with, with your coins or with your pentacles, whatever. Okay? Some of you may receive some unexpected income from a source. Okay? Um, but it's almost like... Here, it's like... Yeah, there's like this despair energy here in these, these third-party situations. You know, leading to a change in perspective of these these particular situations and like a growth really like just like a kind of coming into wisdom and a knowing um of how just how toxic some of these situations are and that you know it's almost like you see you're kind of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel you kind of know what you need to do right you kind of know what you need to do you're just kind of in this strategic energy right Kind of like, how do I, how do I turn this into this, right? So I feel a lot of transitions happening right now, guys. Like a lot of realizations, a lot of transitions. Um, realizations, awakenings. Um, that sort of thing coming in, okay? 
right, let's take a look at Divine Masculine. And uh, I just want to mention, yeah, I've had people <laughs> mention in the comments asking why I'm laughing. Okay, if the uh, most of you who have been with me for a hot minute, you know that I laugh when I'm awkward or like when <laughs> I'm just awkward. I'm just an awkward person. Um, and I laugh because, you know, it rings true or whatever. Like I'm that kind of person who laughs at a funeral. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Um, yeah, Divine Masculine. <laughs> Yeah, Divine Masculine is just, like, constantly in decision mode. <laughs> Divine Masculine is just like, I don't know what to do. And Spirit's like, it's me. <laughs> We're here. Over here, Divine Masculine. Look this way. You know, stop focusing on these. Focus on these. <laughs> or I'm going to bring a tower for you. Okay. So, like, a lot of Divine Masculines right now is just, like, I have a really hard time trusting that intuition, but they're being pushed to. They're being pushed to. They're being pushed to release this karma. A lot of Divine Masculines right now facing some serious karma. Serious karma. You know, some of it may have to do with mommy issues. Some of it may have to actually do with women issues, with, you know, daddy issues, whatever. Some of it may have to do with karma with, with you, you know, divine feminine. Okay, keep that in mind. A lot of past life karma built up in these, these connections. Okay, and it's bringing about a lot of inner conflict, a lot of external conflict. A lot of divine masculines are in situations that are abusive. Some of them are abusers. Okay, so don't think divine masculine is one hundred percent guiltless because it's not true. Okay, but a lot of them are in situations that are just toxic. They're just not good, right? Some of them, some of them haven't had sex in a hot minute. All right. You know, there's no passion left in some of these situations, you know, and then it could be, you know, if it's an actual relationship could be the sex, but if it's a, if it's a job, maybe it's a, you know, they just don't have any drive. They don't have any motivation to really make it work anymore. Right. There's too much drama around them. Right. There's just too much despair around them. And they're like, I don't want to be here anymore. Right. Don't want to be here. This place is making me, or the situation is making me emotionally unstable. Some of them are drinking, you know? Some of them are trying to drink the pain away, and they can't do that. I mean, they could try. It's just going to cause more long-term effects, but they do have free will. Yeah, a lot of my masculine is very emotionally unstable right now. Um, sorry. Because they don't want to face their karma. <laughs> They don't want to face their karma. It's staring them in the face. Staring them in the face. Like, right there. Like, hello. You have unresolved issues, my friend. Deal with it. And my masculine's like, no, I don't want to. It's painful. It hurts. I don't have any motivation to deal with this bullshit. Alright? I'd rather wallow in my self-pity. And wish for the things that I want instead of actually taking action. I know it's an uneven exchange. I know I've been unfair. I know I've been unfairly treated, but eh. Right? The money's good. <coughs> the status is good. Eh, I'll stick it out. The whole time to my masculine is just like, yeah, you know but it still sucks. I still hate this situation. It's affecting my health. It's affecting everything. But hey, you do you, Divine Masculine. Eventually the tower's gonna hit though, and you're not gonna have any choice. Okay, so just be aware. Oh, I'm kind of preaching to the choir. Because I feel like a lot of Divine Feminines are coming in the same boat. Myself included, so. Don't feel too bad, Divine Masculine. Okay? Because you are not alone. 
All right? So, yeah, divine, divine Feminine. Some of you might be pregnant. Some of you are maybe dealing with someone who is pregnant. Like, maybe some of you, your Divine Masculine has someone pregnant or something like that. You know, it could be. But, you know, I also feel just in general, Divine Feminine is still just in this energy of birthing her new beginning. Like, a lot of Divine Feminines are just kind of going through these steps, one after another after another, trying to balance it out, right? Trying to balance themselves out. Trying to balance out, you know, um, the feminine and the masculine energies, the, you know, the ego and... The intuition and trying to figure out what exactly she's in at this point what is the right thing what is the right thing i don't know right divine feminine i don't know <laughs> so divine feminine kind of in the same boat here just like well i mean i'm trying to balance it out i know what i need to do i'm trying to get myself situated but this whole time you know i feel like i'm not getting anything out of this connection i feel like this connection is going nowhere i've been sending all of this energy all this healing to the connection nothing is happening divine feminine maybe you're focusing on the connection too much okay you need to focus on you you need to focus on your abundance you need to listen to spirit you need to move forward and break break these chains okay some of you are in some seriously codependent situations still, like very, very toxic situations. And you're there for the money or whatever status, right? Third party situations, right? A lot of you, again, have energetically disconnected from these situations, right? You're not really feeling left out in the cold anymore, but it's like you want it to end because you don't want to deal with it anymore. Because you know the foundation is unstable. You know that it's not serving you. So you, what do you want to do? You want to lay down these burdens and just move on, right? Like, so again, mirroring, guys. Heavy, heavy mirroring right now, all right? So so what do we do? What do we do? Divine Feminine, as much as it sucks, you know, you lead, you know? So, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. You got to stand in your power, right? You've got to balance yourself out. Stop focusing on the connection so much. Maybe you're sending too much energy to the connection. You're not using enough energy for yourself in manifesting your abundance, which is what you need to do. Getting yourself out of these really toxic situations, leaving behind this whole idea of feeling left out in the cold and feeling worthless and feeling like nothing you ever do is good enough. Get out of that crap. Foundation's unstable. It's built on lies. It's not built on integrity. So stop, you know, beating yourself up about it. Get out. The universe will provide. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my own advice, don't I? Alright, let's take a look at the connections. Yeah, see? <laughs> just like this... Like, motivation just kind of gone here. Like, what happened? Wanting to move forward, but having no idea what to do. <coughs> some of you are being sexually manipulated in some of these connections. Some of you are being the sexual manipulator in some of these connections. Some of you are players, I'm not going to lie. Some of you are. Okay. But in reality, it's more like... It's like... <laughs> This stuck energy, guys. It's just stuck energy. Why? Why are we feeling this way? And this is both divine masculine and divine feminine. Just and this is with the connection. Like there's this longing energy. There's this longing energy, but neither one of the counterparts is really making a move here. Right? Like the sexual energy going back and forth incredibly strong, right? Some of you are just, you know, pissed off because, you know, maybe your counterpart hasn't contacted you or whatever and you feel like it's not going anywhere i mean but the 5d communication the 5d connection is very real right now so stop you know beating yourself up about the situation stop focusing on the connections so much you know and divine masculine i do feel like divine masculines are watching divine feminine and i've said this for a while okay even if not in the 3d in the 5d they can see you they can feel you 
they they know what you're going through and when you're going through it okay just like you can feel divine masculine like it's that connection is already established it's not going away as much as you want it to it's not going away all right so just remember that you're already in union right Stop staying in this stuck energy. Both counterparts in this stuck energy, not feeling like they can move forward for some reason. And and Divine Feminine, I'm sorry, but you lead, okay? You lead, all right? If Divine Masculine is stuck in a karmic situation and you're stuck in a karmic situation, what do you got to do? Get yourself out of the karmic situation. And you can have more than one karmic situation, <laughs> okay? Like, I left one, I'm dealing with another right now. All right? So, I mean, it happens. So, but yeah... A lot of divine masculines right now are being urged to stand in their power. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, being urged to stand in their power right now. Right? To listen to spirit and it's, it's just basically stop playing games. Right? Stop playing games with their lives. Stop playing games with divine feminine. Stop playing games in the karmic situation. Stop hiding their feelings. Really, really stand firm and be like, no, this is not okay. And acknowledge their feelings. Acknowledge how they feel about the situation. Okay? Um, divine Feminine too. Like, a lot of Divine Feminines right now are just not... Some of you are so fed up that you're just like, screw it. You know? Like, this vengeful kind of energy coming in from divine feminine okay and that's that's not that's not good that that energy does not serve you okay so you might want to reevaluate that okay all right let's get some messages from the counterparts uh, yeah i mean you know i still don't feel good enough A lot of them don't understand why you want them in the first place. Right? Or why you love them in the first place. And yet. <laughs> Manifesting big time, guys. All right, let's get some messages and advice. Woo! From source. Okay, well, apparently these need to come out. Try that one more time. All right, there we go. Phew. I'm not going to lie, guys. Every time I cough, it takes a little bit of my soul. <laughs> say anything else follow your bliss guys not just express your joy express your dis express your displeasure in any situation that you're in some of you do need to change tracks I'm going down the wrong road the universe will do its best to put you back on it but there is free will okay it's just a <laughs> big one wake up wake up and face yourself, face your shadows. I'm telling you the spicy moon, man. It's gonna force you to face a lot. Okay? I feel like a lot of you are probably having some seriously messed up dreams. Okay? And yeah, accept disappointments gracefully. Like, there's a reason. There's a reason for this. There's a lesson here. There is no failure. So don't think that there's failure when there's not. Okay? Alright, guys. I hope this has helped. If it has, please like, share, subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. <sighs>